So this is an installation and it's a site, uh, it is site specific for the San Diego Arts Institute, specially made for this wall, which uh, was used last year for my previous solo show. And in between, uh, between last year and the uh, month of March or so, I thought about how I could do a completely different uh, presentation of my work. Uh, and so I decided to do this uh, painting which is a change of scale, and to have a series of small paintings. The title is C'est la vie, and the theme is a little bit, um, comes from the theme I developed last year, but it's a little bit different. Um, and I wanted to have a series of paintings of, uh, about the daily life, specifically in San Diego. Uh, and you can see that there are some uh, paintings about um, the beach. Um, and also the ocean um, and the desert, uh, which are places I like. I really like to go. And also mixed with that, I really wanted to have some uh, things which don't happen necessarily here, but uh, are more about the world around, like uh, the soldiers. Of course, the soldiers are here. It's a town of our lots of soldiers, but it's also an evocation of the war. Um, and this one too, and the woman in the middle here. I really wanted to uh, to have her, the Muslim woman, and she's smiling, which for me is very important uh, because um, it's, a, it's a positive image. I wanted it to be positive, and that is the thing which is complicated in what sometimes I want to do. It's like to uh, to document uh, the life, but not without being like horrific about what is going on. Uh, and about the Muslim woman, maybe uh, there is not much uh, she can smile about right now. But, I, but because I put a lot of uh, hope in women there, I wanted that special figure to be very hopeful, to be very positive, to smile. Um, so what I, what I tried to do is to um, connect the series of little paintings with the people wandering in this landscape. Um, we don't know exactly what they, they are doing. A lot of people say that it, it's a scene from the, the beach here, and it's specifically a, a scene in San Diego. Um, I can say it's from the typhoons, which are which are a place I, I go in very frequently. I go very frequently uh, with the kids. Um, and I was interested in showing this landscape as I usually do, with almost no details. Specifically, the, the ocean which is behind is completely uh, not represented, but the empty space tells that it is the ocean. I'm interested in that. So the image is very small. Um, and then also, there is a contrast between the image, the very black and white image, and the spots of corals. Um, and, um, and I also chose specifically uh, to work the space uh, like a puzzle. So I decided uh, to make the, the space not too complicated, to use only the square, and to, to use different sizes of squares and different depths uh, to make it like a slight uh, volume against the wall. Um, and also, I, it took some time, it was interesting to work here on the site because once I, I painted this, which was a little bit different from what I thought when I was working on my computer to imagine the wall and things, um, to, I, I specifically worked the relationship between the background painting and the all the little paintings. So they are not at all, it's not by chance that they are placed the way they are placed and it was very interesting to work on that. And like for example, at the one end of the room, there is a surfer um, we, who is going in the direction given by the painting. So it's kind of going out of the of the composition. But at the other hand, at the other end, there is the interpretation of the sign of the illegal immigrants. There, they are running the other way. For me, it's the uh, same reality as San Diego. Um, 
and that's what I'm exploring right now is the complexity of this world, which is at, at, at the same time my life here, very happy, but things are happening which are not all, all, always very positive, they're complicated, and I'm happy with the way it's kind of, it finds a, the composition is made because it, it, it allows me to show that complexity without being negative. Um, that's what I'm, I'm working on right now.